there, my name is Katie, and I'm a professional makeup artist. Today I'm gonna to do a look inspired by Kim Kardashian for the eyes. The most important thing about Kim Kardashian's look, her famous look that everybody loves, is lots and lots of black liner and fake lashes. You can't achieve a look at home without it unless you've got really great jeans. So what we're gonna to do today is use a coal eyeliner, we're gonna put it inside the rim of the eye, and then we're gonna blend it out with matte shadow, and then we're gonna add highlights where we want the eye to pop, and then we're gonna do top and bottom lashes, and of course, loads of mascara. Let's start. And we're just gonna go right on this inner rim of the eye. This liner is, like I said before, a coal liner, that's K-O-H-L, and coal liners are safe for the waterline. They also last a lot longer, and tend to be a lot more intense looking. So if you really want to achieve this look, you can't just use a regular black pencil liner. You're gonna to need to get the right product. The one I'm using is by MAC and it's called Smolder and it's definitely my top pick. Now we put it on the bottom lash line, but you have to put it on the top too. I'm gonna to have you look down. And you're just gonna to wanna to put it right into the lash line. Like so, how's that feel? Comfortable. Yeah, it's surprisingly, it's almost like a little scratch where you never get scratched, and it'll, you know, like in your lower back or something. It feels, feels nice. Okay, look at me. Now what we're going to do is using the same eyeliner, we're going to do a, trace a little line along the upper lash line, and then we're going to start smudging that liner into place with a brush. I'm going to have you look down. I like to use the side of the side of the pencil like so versus the points, gentler. And it's easier to control. And when you're doing this kind of smudgy, smoky look, it's really hard to mess up. So don't worry about getting a perfectly straight line because you're gonna go in in a minute with a brush and some shadow and really smudge it into place. Do you take it all the way across? For this one, we're going to for your particular eye shape. Some people, their eyes maybe are a little bit rounder, and so you might want to do a little bit thinner here and focus the darkness in the outer corner. But since you have a more evenly shaped eye, you're gonna go all the way around, but not into the inner, inner corner, because that's where we're gonna end up highlighting. We're gonna go in first with a little bit of black shadow. I'm loading up a firm brush. And we're just gonna pack this color onto the lid. We're almost pulling the liner up and smudging the liner together with the shadow. Something that makes this a little bit easier to blend, but it involves getting another product, would be if you used a black eye base, which is always a, possi you know, always a possibility. If you have any fallout, just take a fan brush like this and dust it away. Okay, work it down. Once you've got a good base of shadow, then you're gonna to wanna to blend it out with something that's a little bit lighter, a little bit of a lighter shade. We're gonna use something with a little shimmer in it. Have you look down. I'm just gonna softly blend two colors together. I think what really makes the Kim Kardashian eyes so hot is having a really dark lash line and then blending it out so there's no hard lines. You can't really see where one thing starts and the other thing ends. Look at me. That's beautiful. And now we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom. I'm gonna use a slightly smaller brush. We've been using um, this brush, which is a little bit bigger. For the under eye, we're gonna use something that's tinier so that we can control the color. But we're gonna use the same shadow that we used to blend on top on the bottom. So I'll have you look up. Look at me. Look up. Now I'm taking a little bit of the black shadow and I'm just kind of going right at the lash line, just intensifying that where the liner meets the lashes. Just to do this kind of look, you just need a little patience and great brushes. It's really just about blending the colors together. Have you looked down? I'm 
look at me. Perfect. Okay, we'll do the other eye. So now we're gonna do a little cleanup under the eye. Sometimes you get fallout when you do this kind of eye, um, this kind of look at home. There's two things you can do to avoid this. One, you can do your foundation after you do your eye makeup and then you don't have to worry about cleaning up your foundation. Or you can just take a little makeup wipe like this. Just wipe anything away. See all of that? That's what you don't want underneath your eye when you're going out. <laughs> it's like the day after when you wake up if you forget to take your makeup off. So I just like to dab that away and then you can go back in with a little concealer and fix everything up. With all this darkness around the eye, you're going to want to do a little bit of a highlight in the inner corner. We're going to use a loose pigment and kind of a peachy gold. Take a little bit of it on a tiny little eraser brush. Shake off the excess so you don't get fallout. I'm going to have you look up at that direction. Look down. Look at me. Down. And look at me. Already I love this look, but if we really want to go all the way, we're going to have to do some mascara and lashes. I'm going to recommend using something that's going to give you a lot of volume. We're going to get the length from the false lashes. We're going to use a little CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. This mascara is fantastic because it has this hard wand and you can wiggle it back and forth along your lash line to get extra volume and also length if you go from base to tip. So I'm going to have you look down. Thanks for watching. For more great tips, click on the links. And if you have a special request, send us an email at requests at mahalo.com. See you next time.